Hello everyone, Sign by Heaven Studio. Um, my name is Gisela and I'm the owner of Sign by Heaven and this YouTube channel, Sign by Heaven Studio. Today we're going to make a paraffin lantern and we're going to use, um, this was our oil container of iced coffee. This is going to be our mold to create our lantern. And we're going to use straight paraffin wax. I already um, added my steric acid. I use the steric acid because that helps hard, um, make the wax harder. Um, when it's set and we're going to use our fragrance oil we're going to use um, citrus odor, odor eliminator from Maple Street Candle Company so I have one pound of paraffin wax here and we're gonna use exactly one ounce for this project. So I'm gonna melt our paraffin wax and we're gonna then move to the next step. Okay, so I will come back to you in a second. Okay, so now um, we have our wax already melted. And the temperature right now is 191, uh, well, not 193. So I'm going to take the chance to add a little bit of color. I'm just going to add a little bit of green. because our fragrance um, oil is citrus other eliminator so it will go very well with the so right now my wax is 186 I'm gonna wait until it goes down to 180 I'm gonna use um, this to stir the, the wax because soy wa um, paraffin wax is very hard to to break. So normally um, I have to break it against the floor, and sometimes dirt and my cat's um, my cat's hair will stick to the wax. So just to avoid um, having any of that in your candle, um, I use this to drain to drain the wax of any debris or unwanted things. So it's one eighty three now. So it's okay to to pour the fragrance oil now.
So this is 168 now. So we're gonna pour our wax. So what I like to do is I like to go around the container just just to elevate it a little bit. And we're gonna let it sit for about about 30 minutes and we're gonna come back again and we're gonna do again the circular motion around to cover the side of the container okay so I'll be back with you guys around 45 minutes to show you how to continue okay everyone we're back and I'm gonna have two options um you have the option to add more wax to the top of the container or you can do the round and create like a layer hope you guys can see oops I dropped I spill a little bit and as you create the layer as you go around you're gonna be creating a layer and that will reach the top or the size that you want as the inside gets cooler so you're gonna keep you can continue doing that or if you want just the size of the amount of wax that you use you can use that too. You can see I'm going around slowly, just filling up the walls of the of the container. Okay, so still not set. So we're gonna wait a few more minutes and come back to it and do the same thing again. Okay, so you can see I've been doing it for a while now to the point that my wax is almost solid. So I'm gonna have a little stick and I'm gonna, have, and I'm gonna pour whatever leftover of wax back into my container. You don't want to scrape the bottom, you just want to smooth the surface. Okay, the temperature right now is 139. And you're gonna let it cool off completely to set oh 
Once that is done, then we can remove it from, from the container. So right now we're just gonna leave it dry. We already have the, we have done whatever we have to do with this. Now we have to let it sit. Um, I recommend to let it sit for at least two to three hours. And then we're gonna come back. You can do this with um, seamless pillar molds too. The only thing that they won't be easy to handle as much as this because of the heat, they're alum aluminum, so they will be very hard to hand to touch. So for those, you uh, will recommend to fill it up all the way to the top that you wanna you wanna do it, and then let it dry, then remove the center and pour, and you will have your the shape of your lantern just to waste to be set. Right, so let's wait three to four hours, and we'll be back. Okay, everyone, um, now I'm gonna, it's been already two hours, so you guys can see the inside of the lantern. So we're gonna smooth it, we're gonna smooth the inside using our heat gun. So I, I was working uh, with the leftover wax, so I make some water. So I'm gonna pour whatever is left in my water, so I'm not wasting no wax. So we smooth the walls inside our lantern. So you guys can see. 
how smooth it is now and we can use a carving tool Okay, we smooth it to the point that it's more a little more square. Then we use the heat gun again. gonna let it sit again hope you guys can see smooth and then the next thing is we're gonna remove it from here Okay, so we're gonna wait three more hours and we'll be back. Okay, everyone, we're back and our candle, our lantern is already all set. So you can see it comes separate from the size 
but it won't come out because um, there's a little dent over here. So what we're gonna do, if you have um, box cutter, it's gonna be very simple. You're just gonna go You guys can see you got your lantern so this part you can put it on a um, baking a cooking tray a cookie tray under the stove and you can la label it to be completely even and you have your lantern. You can decorate it, paint it. Just give me a second. The votive are ready. They're ready. So I just have to put the wick. So just hold on, I'm gonna label, I'm gonna label so you guys can see. Okay, so now you can see a label, a, a, a label the surface. I already wick the tea light. You can make it as a set. And I'm gonna turn on the light so you guys can see the effect. Oh, I'm gonna dim the light so you guys can see the effect of the lantern and the tea light all together. Okay. Danny. So you guys can see, I'm going to turn on the and that's how you make a lantern um, using recycling material. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. Please remember to like share and subscribe please stay safe stay strong and stay blessed bye